Hi guys, long time no see. Um, I wanted to do a video on what my toddler is currently using for at night sleeping. Um, has a diaper and an insert. Now he is already four years old. Right now he is a big toddler. He is 55 pounds and 44.5 inches tall. I know. I had to write it down because I was going to forget. So he is a big boy. He no longer fits into size 6 diapers. And like the other at night pull-ups are so freaking expensive and most of the time they don't even work for us so I had to figure out another way to keep him dry at night because let me tell you having to wash his bed sheets every single day it's a freaking pain not to mention it's kind of disgusting because he's already big and sometimes he can pee like he is in a I don't know, like a lake or something. It's so bad. It's freaking bad. Anyhow, let's move on. Hi, my name is Melissa. Follow me. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and follow me. I'm trying to get my subscribers to go up. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. And if you're looking into any um, specific video about toddlers, what they eat, what they use, what they need, etc., 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 please let me know. Okay, let's jump on into it. So this is what I'm currently using for him every single night, okay? These are size 7 up and up diapers. They are the Target brand diapers. This is what I've been using for a while and actually I used their up and up diapers for several years um, after I found them. And I tried going back to other brands, and this brand just worked awesome for me. Um, I'll probably go ahead and just do a review on the Up and Up diapers um, separately other than this. But these are the Up and Up size 7. Um, I think they're one of the few companies that still make diapers this size. Okay? Okay. So, we use this, and then... Someone um, told me to try like a pad, like an insert pad for diapers. So that's what I've been doing for at least seven months now. And um, this is the third bag that I purchased from them. And I buy them off Amazon. They are about $14 or $15. I'll go ahead and put the link below so you can check on it. And this is the size of the pad. Now, this one does not have a stripe, um, like the sticky um, thingy on the back. There's some of them that have like a pretty much like a like a regular woman's pad. Like they have a, a paper here that you rip off and it's sticky and then you can like stick it into the inside of the diaper and then it'll prevent it from moving. I have never had problems with his pad with his booster pad moving in in his diaper it actually stays in place i don't know if it's just because he's bigger but it, it works just fine um i also did try another brand um from amazon that i found um i'll see if i can put the, the picture on here and it works about the same that one does have the sticky on the back and um, it is a little bit more expensive. So, I mean, it, it's all up to you. Whatever you want to use, whatever works better for you. I found that these work great. The only downside to this is, is that since I have a toddler, he is already used to waking up in the mornings, going to the bathroom so he can pee, and taking off the diaper. And because this is not stuck to this Ugh. most of the time he will just whoom jank it out and this falls on the ground and it's disgusting because he will try to grab it and put it in the trash and then i'm like ah wash your hands gross so for now i just decided to um help him out like when he wakes up i help him out to make sure that um the 
the pad doesn't fall on the ground. So let me show you how I fit. So this is how it goes in. It's really, 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 really easy. Okay, so let me record this way. So I just open the diaper and I stretch it. Okay, so sorry, I had to stretch it out a little bit more off with, without the camera. But um, I went ahead and I stretched it. And you can see it fits fine right here. And it goes back really, really, really well. Um, and most of the time I'll put it back a little bit more. So it's not like sticking out all the way here. So kind of like this. That's how he uses it. And I'll just fold that and call it a date. Um, yeah, and it works really good. I'm going to say like one out of um, one night out of two weeks, he will have a, a little a little bit of leak. And that could be usually on a weekend when he's drinking a lot more liquids before going to bed. And he'll just drink water, water, water. And then he doesn't, you know, go to the restroom a lot before going to bed. So he ends up having a lot more pee than what he usually does. But this is what really works, you guys, for me right now. Again, I have a four-year-old toddler. He's a big boy. Um, stats again, he is 55 pounds, 44.5 inches tall. He wears size clothes six and seven from some stores and some other stores he wears size eight. Um, yeah. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope you you like the video. And if you have any questions, again, let me know. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more information, for more stuff. Thanks, guys. Bye.